colder forecast. Right, the change is coming our way tomorrow, but I do think we will reach the mid 40s again around lunchtime before the cold front passes. It will bring light rain and some spotty drizzle too by daybreak. The fog that develops, I think, is going to hang around much of the day tomorrow until the cold front passes in the afternoon. And then we get under the influence of a northwesterly wind flow, so we drop 10 degrees by Friday. Now, our normal high is 33 degrees. We'll be closer to that on Friday. And Friday in the 4 o'clock hour, winter officially begins. But in the meantime, it's a mild night. Skies are clear. We have decent visibility over the city, but I am noticing some of the far northwest suburbs are getting some patchy fog. 38 degrees is what it feels like, but we have a temperature of 44 with mostly cloudy skies. It's 39 in DeKalb with some light fog, 45 in Ottawa, 46 in Gary, and 44 degrees in Waukegan. I wanted to show you the future cast plot of visibility because we do have some light fog in Ottawa and DeKalb, visibility down to two miles. And as we go into the morning hours, we're going to see near zero visibility in those same places and up into McHenry and Aurora too. So the outlying areas could be dealing with some denser fog and even the airports dealing with fog in the morning. This is 730. Interesting to note that throughout the day, we are going to keep fog in those same spots. So it may be a little dreary at times with low visibility and that patchy light rain. The rain now is over Quincy, kind of creeping into the Quad Cities area in the form of drizzle. We have cloud cover for right now. But as we look at future cast through the night, we're going to see that rain inch closer to us by daybreak. So 7 a.m. to Kelb, Ottawa, and then spotty showers ahead of that. But notice that temperature beginning in the lower 40s. In the afternoon, scattered rain may be around even into the evening. And then on the back side of the front, by 7 o'clock, winds start to shift with the front passing through. Back side of it, some snow showers are possible. They don't hang around very long, but they could join us for the early parts of the Friday morning rush before moving out. So for the first part of the front, as far as rain goes, tenth of an inch at most. I mean, minor amounts of rain. This is light rain and fog much of the day. And then on the back side of it, as far as snow goes for Friday, well, grassy areas could get a fresh coat in some spots. But keep in mind, we've had eight days in a row in the 40s, so it's relatively mild on the ground. So 45 tomorrow, and then we drop to 35. But Rob and Erica, there goes the temperature crawling back up and a bright weekend coming your way. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.